Will you be the chicken to my nugget at prom? I just want to know the context of why he's in the bathtub. <laughs> why would there be chicken nuggets in the bathtub? Oh god. Is he gonna be wearing that to prom? Uh, so he's supposed to be a giant chicken nugget. I mean, uh, I would go on a date with that dude. I freaking love chicken nuggets. Jeez, how many chicken nuggets are there? One, two, three, four, five, seven billion. Great. Okay, this is just for me, but if, if you give me chicken nuggets, I'm gonna be your best friend, all right? That's just facts. If you hand me a packet full of chicken nuggets, I will be your best friend, all right? 100,000%. But if you hand me chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce, I will marry you. That's just me, though. How's it going, guys? My name is Infinite. Make sure you're subscribed with those notifications on Road to 10 Mil. Today, we are gonna be looking at the worst dates ever. <laughs> Have you gone on a terrible date? I for sure have. Probably like three to five dates actually have gone terrible and that's okay though. You bounce back, you learn from them. Want to know how to make the date even better? Is click that first link in the description and cop a new iPhone case. Trust me, you pull out your phone on a date, she'll see that phone case and she'll be like, OMG, I watch him too. <laughs> So cute! I'm just kidding, but yeah, click that first link in the description. Anyways, let's check the next picture out. Got done eating, and the guy tells me he's dating someone else. The girl my ex was cheating on me with. Oh my... Small world, isn't it? <laughs> she went on a date with a guy. The guy told her that he was cheating on her with another girl. The girl that he was cheating on her is the guy... Hold on, this is so freaking confusing. The girl that the guy was cheating on her with is the girl of that girl's ex that the guy was cheating on. Um, oh my god, I, I can't do this. I'm done. I just can't. Okay, I, okay, I'm not gonna end the video, but I just, I can't comprehend that, okay? My brain is gonna explode. Oh. Dang it, I really exploded. Accidentally pooped my pants. <laughs> Great start. Told her I had to use the restroom and never came back. Hashtag worst first date. Oh my god. How do you accidentally poop your pants on the first date? Come on, man. I mean, I get how you do it because it's almost happened to me, right? But like, just don't let out that fart. You know when there's a fart and it's like juicy? Oh god, this is disgusting. But you know what I'm talking about. Juicy farts and then it turns into a poop. Yeah, it just just don't do that on a first date. You gotta keep it safe, man. Because in case that happens, like, so that's a no go that is so embarrassing what are you gonna tell that girl you're just never gonna talk to her again or are you gonna man up and tell her you pooped your pants yeah probably don't do that she'd probably never talk to you again <laughs> what a terrible date though what an absolutely terrible date dude pooped your pants on the first date oh god but then if you came back to her and told her that you pooped your pants then you could tell your future kids that that's how you met it was a poopy first date but still you stuck together and you married her it's just so adorable. <laughs> Not really at all, actually. It's kind of disgusting. Okay, we're moving on. Oh, no. Okay, look at this couple, all right, right here. He's on his phone. He's probably watching Infinite List right now. He's probably watching this video. And she's like, oh, freaking Gerald, get off your freaking phone. I'm trying to have a nice dinner with you, but you're always watching Infinite List. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that I am getting in the middle of your relationship. I'm so sorry. My videos are just so good. I know. Uh, Not really, though. Anyways, I hate seeing this. I hate going out to a place and then and then looking to my left and I just see like this girl and a guy both on their phone. Like, get off your freaking phone, all right? When we're on a date, your phone better be across the. Good thing I have the infinite list phone case because my phone might have cracked, but it, it's not gonna be cracked because I have that phone case. So that's cool. Yep, good as new, not even cracked. Anyways, your phone better not come out of that pocket. If it does come out of that pocket, I'm literally gonna take your phone and just yeet it across the room. I'm not gonna do it again, because I, I don't wanna frick it, break it, but you know. So this couple made brownies, right? And then the girl cuts this piece out. Uh, yeah, you should probably dump her. She's, she's most likely a psychopath. If she makes you NyQuil chicken, do not let her go. <gasps> Let me rephrase that. If she makes you NyQuil chicken, you should probably dump her. She's a psychopath. Disgusting. Last night, I let a date sleep over. He wouldn't leave when he said he would. I had to let him sniff my feet to get him to leave. You should probably dump him. He's a psychopath. 
Okay, okay, fine. I'm done saying that. But like, huh, what? I really hope there wasn't a second date. Please just delete his number, block him on everything. That is disgusting. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine this conversation. Okay, Jared, it's getting late. I think it's time for you to go. Are you serious? No, wait, wait one second. No, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's getting really late. It's dark outside. Okay, I'm, I'm not leaving unless you let me stand for your feet. I'm not. It's just, I'm not doing it. I, I am, I'm not leaving. I haven't even gotten a, a nice foot sniffing. Like, come on. Okay, I'm calling the cops. That's what I would do. I would call the cops. Thousand percent. Hashtag worst first date. He was skateboarding towards my driveway. His board caught on the sidewalk. He hit the ground and passed out for 10 minutes. Oh my god. First date in the hospital. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I mean, then you can tell your future kids that, you know, you spent your first date in the hospital. Could be pretty nice, you know? I mean, it's pretty cute. Pretty adorable. Yeah, that would be pretty embarrassing. You wake up and you're like, uh, uh, Tina? What? Tina? What happened? Did you push me? Why are we in the hospital, Tina? What, what, what the heck happened? That'd be so weird. I'm breaking up with... Oh no, oh no. You took the time to write this with mustard and put it on your plate and show it to your date. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine this real quick. Like, how, how did she not catch you doing this? You just got the mustard out. You're just like, I'm breaking. Oh, oh, wh what are you writing there? What are you doing with the mustard, huh? Just, shh, shh, just hold on. Just one second. I'm breaking up. Is that a love letter? Aw, you're so cute, Jonathan. Aw. Sorry, but it's, uh, we're, we're done. We're over with. <laughs> so sad, man. Who does this? Who, who writes this on a pl paper plate? And, oh my gosh. Terrible. Beautiful craftsmanship with the mustard, though. How how did you get such good handwriting with that? I'm honestly impressed. My crush and I went to McDonald's. I started laughing at something he said, choked on my fry, and threw up all over him. Let me just get a round of applause for that. That actually happened to someone. <laughs> oh, you, you threw up all over him. Oh, God. Oh, why'd you go to McDonald's on a date? Come on, man. Take her somewhere nicer. McDonald's? Really? They do have good chicken nuggets, just like that first picture. Oh, I want chicken nuggets now, dude. Dang it. So imagine, right? You're dating this girl, right? You're on your one year anniversary. She buys you Chick-fil-A, just a great plate of chicken and stuff, and even a milkshake with a cherry in it. She, she even gives you roses. Just so romantic and great. You're having a great meal, you're talking about life, you're talking about everything, and then you finish eating your meal and it says we're done. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's depressing. It's like the freaking mustard one, man. What? Why did they give you roses and food and milkshake? Like, we're done. I'll buy you one last meal, but we're freaking done. Just imagine if they like ate the food where it says were only and, and they didn't see the done part and they're like, were? W what's that mean? Oh, we're getting married? <gasps> That would be awful. That would be a roller coaster of emotions right there. Terrible. Terrible Chick-fil-A date. Chick-fil-A is great, too. Come on, man. How are you gonna do that? A girl tried to kiss me with a mouthful of ranch dressing. Oh, come on. Ranch dressing? It wouldn't have been half as bad if it was blue cheese. Oh, come on. Frickin' ranch? Ugh. That's terrible. Oh, I don't even want to picture that. I could just imagine ranch pouring out of their mouth. Oh, lovely. Looks like they're at a party or something, you know, drinking and everything, and then and then you got Patricia freaking out on top of this guy's shoulders because he's kissing another girl. Do you see this? When you party too hard that you forget that Bay is on your shoulders. Whoops. So awkward. What are you doing with this position? Like Patricia is on her boyfriend's shoulders, and her boyfriend's kissing another girl. Like, what does she do? Does she pour the drink on their head or like I don't know? That's probably what I would do. Great relationship. Proud of you. Uh, you you guys are so cute. Oh my god. My boyfriend promised me a fancy dinner for our date. Aww, it's so fancy. Ketchup and fries and chicken. Yay, McDonald's. Yay. Honestly, I wouldn't even care. If you if you hand me fries and chicken nuggets, just like I said in the past, I will be your best friend and possibly marry you if there's barbecue sauce included. That's just me though. Hmm, weird. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a fat like if you want like a part two or something. Make sure to turn on those notifications, guys. Who's a part of the notification squad? Make sure to leave a comment if you are. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Peace.